in my understanding of what dominance was because I thought that I would feel fulfilled by being the one who was in control. But I wasn't. Because what I was actually after, what I actually really needed, wasn't to be in control. It was the feeling of being followed. It was the feeling of like what I got back from you out of taking charge. So can you elaborate more on your own, I guess, realization of that difference? Because I know that you wanted this sort of relationship for a long time and never brought it up. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning of it, <laughs> I remember the statement of like, you share sharing that it's like, oh, she said, yes, we wake up the next day and it's like, oh, um, okay. I, I guess I don't really feel different mm -hmm. just because she is now my submissive. Right. You put on that collar, you agreed to follow me. And now everything's still the same right. the next day. So it took me a while to start to sort out that the problem wasn't you. In the fact that what I was looking for, this feeling of like, well, you said like reverence, like I, I get something out of when you look at me, like you worship the ground that I walk on. And when I can tell that you feel that way about me, like that does something to me. And that's what I was after. Like, that's what I really wanted. And, you know, for me, it was the process of getting even closer to you and opening myself up more that allowed me to start seeing that while I had been sitting over here pointing fingers, at least inside, at like you thinking you needed to be different in order for me to get, have my needs met, it was really me that needed to be different in order for me to have my needs met because you were saying, I'll follow you. And I was over here saying, no, but I want it to feel different. But the only way that it ever got to feel different was when I started, when I took ownership for meeting my own needs, for, for having my life and this relationship be the way I wanted it to be. And that's where, you know, dominance had to go, f what it was in my mind before, it was like, the way I talk about it, there's like this outer shell, right? This, this like the very outer fringes of what makes me dominant are the things that I, the ways that my dominance interacts with your submission. It's like when I tell you to do something and you do it. When I make plans for us and you follow those plans. You know, that's, that's the very outer shell. It's like where your submission is, is the outside edge of it and my dominance, the outside edge of it is where they touch. But this work of making it feel so real, so deep, so powerful for us, isn't about getting the surface right, like where we touch. It's about who we've both had to become on the inside, like our character, our, our spirit, our energy, our self-love, our belief in ourselves. Like, and that's really what is hard for men to look at because we think it's about what we do, but it's really about who we are. And then we look at, well, how do I change that? Like, how do I improve that? It's way easier to say, like, I'm going to do this, these things. And every single guy who starts out in dominance and submission, I think, starts out trying to figure out the right contract. What are the rules? What are the rituals? What are the, like, the things I'm going to make her do? But anyone who gets any deeper than that, has to start looking inward like I did.